Hello guys, good morning, good morning everybody. So we are in uh, Moses Lake, Washington this morning. We are picking up a load that we are taking to uh, California. So this is where we are. You guys can see it's a plant uh, for heavy equipment. So we're just waiting to get loaded right now. We just got here. This is what it's looking like. So yeah, we just uh, waiting to get loaded and then we should be getting back on the road here soon, hopefully. This place is pretty cool. They have a uh, airport right behind uh, this plant. You guys can see the big plane right there. It's a, uh, um, I don't know if it's a private airport. I think I seem like some type of commercial planes. So I don't know, it might be just a regular airport. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool place. All right, so we are getting loaded. Uh, that is the big piece of equipment that we are taking from uh, Moses Lake, Washington to uh, California. As you guys can see, it's a big um, piece of equipment, whatever type of machine that is. There it is. It's a big one, but it's not as heavy. I believe it's about 24,000 pounds. So it's not it's not heavy we don't like doing super heavy loads and now uh, this one is perfect and there is Seneca securing the load he's, he's working those chains over there <laughs> making sure everything is safe and secure before we take off so what are you doing now <laughs> with the chains are you just checking to, just to make sure that they're not loose at all looseness okay Wrapped up. Okay. Kind of and you try to do that what every hundred miles or so? Every time I stop. Every, every time you stop. Out. Okay. Depending on the load. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So the worst nightmare that can happen to a truck driver just happened to us. Um, our truck broke down going up in the hill. We are in the middle of nowhere. We have no cell phone signal, no internet connection. We have absolutely nothing. So we are, we were on our way to California with a load, with a load and um, the, uh, I believe it was the, uh, what was it, the red, what hose was it? Radiator. The radiator hose, um, it just popped and all of the antifreeze came out and the truck stopped. Like it completely, ju it just like stopped. So this is where we are in the middle of the road. We're blocking uh, one of the lanes. It's a two lane highway. We're blocking one of the lanes and it, yeah, and it's like super hot. We're in the middle of the desert. Like I said, no cell phone signal, no nothing. Um, I had to call 911 to ask for uh, roadside assistance. So we're, we're sitting here waiting. Um, there was a city worker that stopped and offered to help us. So it looks like he's gonna be able to pull our truck with his uh, city work truck, I guess. Um, so hopefully he'll be able to pull us to a place where we can get a mechanic and you know have them look at it. But this is this is crazy. Like it's it was so scary because we was going up in a hill and it just like stopped. And this is what it looks like around here. Like literally just nothing but like mountains and and like there is like nothing here. As you guys can see, there is no houses. There is no no nothing and no cell no cell phone signal like none like my phone has like absolutely nothing Seneca's has absolutely nothing so we was just like freaked out like oh my god so we just waited pray for us <laughs> 
but you know i guess this is part of truck and this is our first breakdown like this you know being on the road it's just super scary but you know we're just waiting here just trying to stay safe and see what happens from here um the city worker that stopped to uh, to offer help he said that the nearest town in uh, either direction is about 45 minutes from here so yeah we'll see we shall see good morning everybody so this is where we had to spend the night last night um after our our truck broke down yesterday it's been a crazy um last you know two days so the truck broke down yesterday coming up on a hill in the middle of nowhere we're somewhere um in uh nevada with no no signal no cell phone signal no internet no nothing absolutely nothing at all so <clears throat> this um nice uh, gentleman a city worker he stopped to help us yesterday he um he was able to pull our truck out of the road we was you know stuck in the middle of the road we was blocking one lane it was a two-lane highway so we was blocking one lane and it was coming up on a hill so it was super unsafe super crazy so he stopped to help us he was able to pull the truck um, to uh, uh, the side of the road about um, two miles from where the truck broke down. So he was a city worker. He had a, um, a tractor uh, that he was able to use to pull the truck with. And uh, this is where we had to stay the night. So we was able to get a little bit of signal yesterday on my cell phone. It, like we literally had to walk around the the side of the road to find a spot where we got signal so i was able to call uh loves to schedule a mechanic to supposedly come over here and look at the truck this morning um everything was set up they took all my information and everything they said yeah he'll be there first thing you know tomorrow morning they said if you can call back at seven in the morning just to make sure that you haven't got anybody else to come to look at the truck you know overnight or whatever i told them and i made it very clear i said you guys are like the only one closest the closest to us i said so i'm pretty sure i'm not going to get anybody else i got no phone signal no nothing but i will see if i can call in the morning if i got if i have any phone signal <clears throat> So this morning, I tried calling them again. I have no phone signal at all. We went to the same spot where we was yesterday, uh, where we got phone signal. Couldn't get no signal at all today. I walked around for like two hours with nothing. Like it just didn't work. Super frustrated. And um, so by then it's like 8.30 in the morning. Nobody has come or anything. So thank God this gentleman that was driving by in a motorcycle he stopped so there's a portable toilet right here where we are this is where we are on the side of the highway so he's in the portable toilet so he stopped to use the 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 portable toilet and so i asked you know i told him what had happened and i asked him if i could use his cell phone to call loves again and so he yeah he let me use his cell phone so that's what i did i called loves you know, I asked, has the mechanic left yet or anything? They have no clue about anything. They were like, what are you talking about? I'm like, what do you mean what I'm talking about? I gave all the information yesterday. Everything was scheduled for today. Literally, they transferred me to like five different people. Nobody knew anything about, you know, what, what I was talking about. I asked to speak to a manager. Same thing. Manager didn't know nothing. It was crazy. It was insane. So I finally um, talked to one of their mechanics and he was like, oh, there is no way that I can come all the way over there and fix the truck on the side of the road. <clears throat> He's like, you got to tow it to the to the shop. And I'm like, how come you guys didn't tell me that yesterday? And he said, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure who you spoke to, blah, blah, blah. Well, it was just, just a hot mess. So we... Um, we have we're gonna to have to tow the truck to the shop to loves which is about what it's like 200 miles from here seneca 168. it's 168 miles from where we are to the nearest loves um to to tow the truck to the shop so we're currently waiting for a towing truck which is going to cost us about 1900 dollars just for the towing and it, it's just insane you know but this 
this is part of trucking like yeah it's super inconvenient it's such a headache and you know we was in a really bad place yesterday super unsafe you know to be in the middle of the middle of the road on a hill blocking you know one lane and all of that but you know we understand that this is part of trucking this this can happen you know to anybody no matter how good you prepare for things this this is going to happen it's just part of trucking so we're just waiting this is where we are and like i said like literally we have like no service um this morning i had it to walk like all the way over there <laughs> to like the end of that road climb on the little mountain and try to get you know some service couldn't get any i um <clears throat> but thank god you know this guy he he stopped and he was he was really cool he was really nice i hold him here for like I don't know, like almost an hour, you know, between the time I was like arguing with the people at Loves and, you know, finally getting a hold of a towing company and all of that. I literally had him, you know, waiting for about an hour, which he didn't mind. He was super cool. But anyways, so this is the experience so far, you know, with this trip. It's just crazy that, you know, this happened. I wish it would have happened in the city, but... You know, you can only prepare so much, no matter, you know, how good you take care of your equipment. <clears throat> you know, we get all of our preventative maintenance done and everything, but, you know, you can never, you know, predict what's going to happen. So, so this is where we are just waiting. There is like nothing whatsoever. Uh, the other gentleman that stopped by yesterday, the one that pulled us out of the road, um, he said that to get to the to get to the nearest town is um, about an hour on each on on uh, either direction. It's about an hour to get to the nearest town. It's crazy. <laughs> so trying to get you know like a, a, a mobile mechanic or you know, even a towing truck to come all the way out here, you know, they're like, oh, it's really far away. And it's like, oh, my God, isn't that what you guys do? But anyways, we was lucky enough to, you know, have found this um, towing company that they're willing to come out here. So and, you know, trying to explain to them where we are, that was another, you know, another thing that we're like, OK, this is all we know, you know, highway this, highway that, mile this, mile that. And they're like, Oh, well, like what city is near to you? We're like, nothing. There is nothing. So, um, they said that it was going to take them about two hours to get here. So, we have been waiting for about an hour now since we got off the phone with them. So, we shall see. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Very nice view, you know, of the mountains and everything. Last night was super pitch dark out here. It was, you know... It was nice to look at the sky. The sky was covered with really sh um, shiny stars. It was pretty cool, but it was a little bit scary to be out here with no uh, with no phone service. So one of the things that I'm gonna do as soon as we get, you know, back in town, I'm gonna um, probably switch providers. Uh, we currently have AT and T, but oh my god, like I never thought that it was gonna be so bad out here. So I'm thinking about switching to Verizon. I have Verizon before, and uh, their service up in the mountains was pretty good. So I'm gonna have to check on that because we can can have this happening out, you know, to us out here again. So that's one of the things that I wanna, you know, change to be better prepared. And uh, there's some other things that I'm gonna have to handle different. But yeah, I mean, it's part of trucking, like I said, I'm pretty sure that ain't gonna be the first time, ain't gonna be the last time. It's all about how you, you know, handle it. And, you know, it gets pretty expensive. Like I said, almost $1,900 just to get it tow. Um, so we'll see how much it's gonna be for parts and labor. All right, so the towing truck is here and he's getting ready to hook um, our truck to it and take us to a shop which is about 160 180 miles from here so that's where he's taking us he's taking the truck with the trailer thank god that we don't gotta leave the trailer here because we didn't want to leave this load you know just sitting here in the middle of nowhere so that's that's where we are today 
thank God that he came. I was just so skeptical that they were going to make it all the way here because we haven't had the best luck this morning with, you know, trying to get a hold of people here. So we should be on our way to the shop here soon. since uh, we had to take the truck to the shop um, after we got tow, uh, the, the truck tow, we, we dropped it off at the shop and uh, we came and got a hotel room so that we can spend the night here. Hopefully the truck will be ready tomorrow, but we shall see. So this is where we're staying tonight and uh, the hotel is pretty nice and it's just right across the street from, uh, from, the, from the shop where we uh, have the truck. So it's like a nice little um, uh, living area. And then it has two beds. Seneca's already laying down on the bed. <laughs> he said he was so happy to see a bed and lay in a real bed. <laughs> Not like the truck bed, small bed. So this is what it's looking like. It's pretty nice after all. Seneca, how you feel? <laughs> Seneca, how you feel? <laughs> feel better. Good. <laughs> so we're still waiting for the for our truck to be ready. Um, it's not gonna be ready until tomorrow morning. So we're still at the hotel. Um, we just ordered some yummy Mexican food, and this is what I got. So we're just gonna chill and relax at the hotel. I mean, nothing else you can do. Like I said, breaks, breakdowns are gonna happen and this is just part of trucking. Might as well, you know, enjoy the time at the hotel and get some, some good food. And we are back on the road, thank God. So our truck got fixed this morning and we, um, and we started rolling. We still got this load with us that we were supposed to, uh, drop off on Monday so today is Tuesday and we should be dropping it off tomorrow morning hopefully if nothing else happens on our way there with the truck so far so good but we shall see you know it was just pretty stressful and inconvenient to you know have to deal with all of that but like I said before it's just part of trucking so we are still in Nevada <clears throat> on our way to uh, California that's where we are. This is what it's looking like around here. It's just literally like in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing here. So yeah, we should get to um, California sometime later tonight. And then uh, we're just gonna drop off this load first thing in the morning. There is Seneca feeding the birds. <laughs> Seneca, what you doing? What you doing over there? So we are finally done with this load. It feels like it has been a load from hell. <laughs> so not, okay, so let me rephrase that. Not the load. The load was fine. It was simple. It was easy load. The trip, the overall trip has been a nightmare so far. Like so many things happened to us out here, um, you know, with this load that is just, I'm gonna say my, my prayers to this load and send it out on on its way hopefully it'll take all of the negative uh, energy of this trip with it 
because let me tell you, we went from uh, having a truck bre uh, break down to having to get the truck, having to get the truck uh, tow away, to having to pay so much money for for towing for the repairs of the truck, to locking ourselves out of the damn truck. It, it has been just a flipping nightmare to say the least. So we are really, really happy to be done with this load. I can say that much. So here it goes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can't wait for them to be done unloading us and we can uh, be on our way to the next one. Well, we shall see where we go from here. I have no idea. I haven't even started to look yet because I wanted to make sure that we have made it safely to the drop off and you know, we know uh, with no other issues before I started looking for another load. So we are in Corona, California. It's a uh, equipment store. This is what it's looking like out here on the parking lot. Just a lot of big machinery and trucks. <clears throat> there is our truck. It's kind of scary to watch the guys unload these big old machines out of this truck. Get it off! Get it off my truck, that's all I want! It is so hot here. Oh my goodness. I just got out of the truck for a minute just to film this, but my goodness if it's hot. It feels like it's 100 degrees and that sun is burning. So there you go. It's out of our truck, out of our hands, out of our responsibility. Thank God.